we were kids, you know, when he passed. If my father were to walk in now, he'll immediately kind of feel at home. There's a sense of similarity in the manner in which we collect and what we collect. Some of his records and his books and his artwork and things. There is a lot of his kind of vibe in here. I actually grew up on this land, here in Tevra, and this is the view that we grew up with. Whenever I seek comfort, I need a water body to go to. I uh, grew up in Fort Kochi. Besides having a ton of family and cousins, there were always people coming through. The way she grew up was even, even more open, even crazier. You find yourself later on kind of living with that same kind of open house type of situation. I try to keep the, uh, the canvases blank, you know, the floors, the walls, because then your space has the opportunity to evolve. It's about 3,800 square feet, I would think. Originally a four bedroom apartment, which you know, we've now reduced it down to three bedrooms. So this was typically a room. We knew we wanted to make it into like just an open area with floor to ceiling library is something that I've always wanted. So that I can mess with different boxes of things constantly. Carpenter we're working with, who um, actually this large piece of wood was what they would oil and start to season the other wood before it, it, it's made into something, you know? And we saw it and I was like, okay, this is what we need as our dining table, you know? If you notice, there are still some of those grooves and everything in it. So it's just about like finding those pieces we feel like are salvageable. Certain times you have no choice yeah. but to design your own furniture because it has to fit the size or... That's also lots of fun because you're sketching it out and the local carpenter will then repurpose old wood. I've got a warehouse full of old wood. We grew up, grew up Catholic so there's a lot of Christian iconography um, in this house. You know, you, you kind of fi find comfort in the visuals you grew up with. I left India when I was 17 years old to the US. If you see around the house, I have a lot of Mexican craft. I think maybe my initial you know, attraction to it had to do with how I felt it was quite similar to, to India and the colors and the, the vibrance. And really, I think it comes from that memory or that longing for home. Actually, if you take a look at that altar, I think you'll see that some of those vibes are there. But the altar also doubles for where our music is set up because the music is sacred to us. I realized that the speakers were very close to that wall. The sound would then bounce off the walls and sound dirty. So I basically I told Anna, listen, I have to clad this wall with like a studio wood with cushioning. Give me a fabric to throw on top of it. And, she, and she's like, I got that covered. Art appreciation started since our childhood. Ends up being we have a lot of Kerala artists in our home, which I'm really proud of. My cousin Preeti Vadakit, her work of me as a young boy. My grandfather used to have a quite a well-known shop called Chakola Silk House in, uh, in Cochin on Broadway. They had collaborated with a Spanish company that and they brought in all this furniture from Spain. I remember as a child I would be like this is so not modern. Now I can say with beautiful arches and like rounded finishes just very well crafted. They're art deco pieces. I love to just mix it all together you know I don't want to just be contemporary I don't want to be just known as having a bohemian style. And in some ways because we're both not educated in design or art we come from backgrounds it, it frees you up you know and I think our home is a testament to the fun we have it's constantly evolving nothing's ever done as such and that's the fun of it